Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the A10C and the A10C2 and we're looking at starting from cold, including rearming and being ready for taxi. We've changed it slightly from the official method to make it as easy to remember as possible. First, battery, left click, on, inverter, right click, to standby. Next, we are going over to the left here and APU, right click, to start. Now we're going to watch this gauge here until the APU settles at 100%. And then APU generator up. Next, let's get our CDU going. So just under the CDU here, left click CDU, left click EGI. We're going to wait until the CDU screen actually turns on just to make sure, yep, that's fine. Next, our radios. So FM radio to transmit on that knob there. And we can go either main or both here on our uh, UHF and on our VHF. We're going to go to right click transmit. Next, our SAS. So we're going to move over here a little. Pitch SAS. Left click, left click your SAS. Left click, left click. All switches up. Next, check that our boost pumps are all on. Four of them. There, 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 there. They should be on, but if not, then make sure that they are on. Next, anti-skid, left click to up. Next, landing light, taxi light. We're going to left click to down to taxi light. Next, left MFD to day or night, depending on the environment. So day there. Next, CICU, left click on. JTRS, left click on. IFFCC, uh, right click to test. And up to the UFC, click or press enter on the UFC to begin the test of the hub. See it starting there. Next, back up ADI, move the cursor to there and mouse scroll wheel until the flag disappears. Right MFD, day or night, so right click there. Next, we're going to reset the barometric altimeter to read zero. Okay. Next, our countermeasure panel. We're going to set to manual, semi or auto, depending on which we're going to be using. And assuming that we're going to have a jammer, we're going to turn our NWS, jammer, RWR, and dispenser on. Next, O2 switch, green switch, check it's on, and it is by default in this case. Down the right console to lights. Set your lights as you need for your scenario. In this case, I'm going to just put everything on because I can. And you will need to also, in this case, set our HOTAS pinky switch to aft. Next, ILS and the TACAN. This is optional, but we're going to do it because we can. Power on. That was right click around that band around there. And the TACAN. We're going to go to transmit receive. Next, if you've got a helmet mounted display in the 2 version, we're going to go on. Next, we're going to start the engine. So we're going to uncage the left throttle with right alt and home. Now we're going to watch the dials here, and I'm going to speed it up because we can. We're going to watch the RPM of the left engine rise, and again I can speed it up and settle. And that's left engine settled. Now the right engine, right control and home. And in, I'm going to speed it up again for this video. Watch the RPM rise and wait till it settles. It can be about 60%. And settled. Now the engines are on and spooled, we can turn off our APU, so our APU power is going to come off first, ping, and over to here, our APU is going to come off, okay, next we're going to check out our CDU, we can do it on the actual CDU there, or we can do it on a repeater, so a repeater, CDU, and we want to check that if we've timed it right, our INS alignment should have finished, and we can see here, INS nav ready, and T equals 4.0, 0 0.8 that means the INS alignment that's been happening during this startup is finished and that part is ready to go uh, I have to hit nav EGI yeah. and turn Got it, AC. next click nav and behind the stick EGI and EAC here next I'm going to complete this and turn the hard on right click to IFFCC hard on Next, we're going to rearm. To rearm, we're going to press that there. We'll rearm with right-clicking on these stations and choosing whatever we want. 
Uh, we'll just go with a blank loadout for now. You would usually click OK and then wait until he's finished rearming you. Next, once we've rearmed, we need to bring the weapons information, navigation information and so on into the aircraft. So we're going to click load all. Going to fast forward until we have four dots on the left here and you'll see what I mean there. Or start, 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 start. That's done. Assuming that we're going to have a T-Pod, then it might be a good idea to arm your laser now and warm up your TGP now. It's just what we tend to do. Down to the CDU again. If we've got a flight plan that's come through from the mission editor or we've built it into our CDU, left rotary to flight plan. Otherwise, we can leave it in mission and this guy here can stay in other for now. Ejection seat arm, left click. Nozzle steering on, that button there. You can see steering engaged. Can it be closed? Left control and Charlie. Left control and C. Press and hold. Finally, it's really important to check your caution, your advisory panel here, just to make sure that nothing's highlighted. It's really easy to miss something in this startup procedure, and it will usually tell you if you have by a light here. Other than that, that's it, and we're ready to taxi.